Yo, so what's quackalacking, dudes? So, Pwn here, coming with you guys with a Haymaker 12 gameplay. And it's the full auto shotgun in Black Ops 3. I got a lot to talk about on this thing. And I want you guys to bear with me. I'm on a lot of painkillers right now. I'm a little out of it. Not gonna lie, I came in the door yesterday and just shattered my knee on the door frame. Yeah, used no signals, just pulled right out in front of me. And I'm pretty sure there's some permanent damage, so I apologize if I seem a little out of it. Um, but just between you and me, because we're friends and all, if anyone asks, I did a, a like a super long wall run and I took fall damage, okay? Because the other, the other story is really embarrassing. So, what I love about this gun, now I'm going to tell you this is probably the only time you're ever going to hear me say I love something about an auto shotgun. Because auto shotguns, at the core, what they truly are, are just stupid to be in most shooters. The reason usually comes down to the fact that they are so hard to balance... They usually make things way too easy. You remember the AA-12? I mean, auto shotguns or even semi-auto shotguns that can fire at the rate of full auto are just a horrible idea. Pump action should be the only shotguns in these games, period. And I feel like it gives a proper enough cooldown period between shots. There should not be a forgiving shotgun in the game. You take your shot, you miss, you're vulnerable for a second, and then you realign in the panic and you get another shot. You shouldn't be able to just pull the trigger once and just pepper an entire room. It just should not be a thing you can do. It's ease of use is what makes it such a dangerous idea, and especially seeing as how it's almost never balanced properly. Now, that's what makes it so good, is the Haymaker is a fully auto shotgun. It requires one trigger pull, and you just path the enemy. The catch is, they really did a good job at nerfing this. At first, when I was getting killed by it before experiencing it, I'm like, of course, fucking auto shotty noob. You know, I'm like, yeah, whatever, these guys are fucking AIDS. And I hated dying by it because I know what auto shotty usually translates to in other games. Too easy to use, it's a noob cannon. There's no skill whatsoever, it shoots shotgun shots, and it, it profits. That's what happens, that's the end of the story. And I think they did a good job in this. It's very inconsistent, which is something that I found even with the pump action, is that sometimes, even in the closest or even significantly longer ranges, you may get that one shot with the pump, but sometimes you have to pop two, and even occasionally, in the odd sense, maybe three. So, the shotguns in this game are extremely inconsistent, and that does take away from their reliability to kill in close quarters. But, at the same time, because of that, it also makes people lean more towards the autos, because, like I said, it's more forgiving. You pull the trigger and you path. Right there was the perfect example. I blasted her at point blank range and she walks away with nothing but a boo-boo. Had I hit her with a door frame though, she'd have been fucked. But seriously, I think that is good. You know, sometimes when I get killed by it, great. Sometimes it takes something like that. The gun is very inconsistent. I have noticed that aiming down sight generally helps. And, you know, I'm not a professional at all, but, you know, that usually comes in handy in shooters. But I really did have... I can't say fun using this because I don't enjoy a gun that doesn't take any skill. But I had moments of happiness. Generally when I fail to get a kill that I should have had and I would have had had I been using any other gun. That makes me feel good. That makes me know that this gun is at its core actually quite balanced. It's only effective for so far. The reload speed can take a little bit. But you can generally kill two to three people per each mag. And that's a really really good thing right there. Like I said. It happens. You get shut down very easily. So this gun, at its core, the ultimate question is no, it's not overpowered. I think it's just right. You get too aggressive and you get pooped on right there. And I honestly think they did a good job with this. This is probably one of the most impressive balancing plays I've ever seen from Call of Duty because they've dropped the ball in every other circumstance. Even Battlefield and other games really, really does a bad job at balancing semi-automatic or even full auto shotguns with a heavy rate of fire. I think they did a great job with this one. It can be inconsistent at times. Sometimes it melts people as if it was the pump action. You know, like I said, because of that, you can't rely on it. But that is my final verdict. Great gun, not overpowered by any means. A little inconsistent, so it may not be the wisest choice in the world to use, especially seeing as how effective SMGs are in this game. It's definitely a toy you want to play with, or if you're not very, very skilled, you have a gun that is more forgiving and just allows you to fucking decorate a room with buckshot. So... That being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay commentary. If you did, be sure to leave a like and support the channel. And subscribe if you're new here for more Black Ops 3 gameplay in the future. Let me know in the comment section what other guns you would like to see. Follow me on social media. And damn, I just gave you a grocery list of commands to do. I know. El Bonsta.